Four hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General Enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Uh, sure. Certain. Grandmaster de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispar? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. I'm what the hell were you thinking? How dare you defy the queen? Next time you shut in the council, I'll rip you a new arsehole! While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Guillaume. Ah. Uh. Go then, see what you can learn, but no more rash action. Hm? Yes, mentor. This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you? into their affairs. Salve. I'm worthy of death under Tiberius to praise Brutus. Caligula condemned to death those who are so sacrilegious as to undress before the image of the emperor. Once tyranny invented the crime of injured majesty, which were actions either indifferent or heroic, who could have dared to think that it merited a punishment more gentle than death without rendering himself guilty of the same crime. When fantasy, or monsters, how much longer must we be I do have other business to attend to. The crime, the sacrilege. Grand Master wants to put a ghost pin down before we begin. I trust we'll finally learn the meaning behind our own What was that? that? So was it all not all necessary that they know. offer him the blood plan is still too and bring him down to their the level? The, the monsters who we said they were his own. The death penalty is necessary, say the puffs. Ours are ancient. In fact, assassins. That seems convenient. That's the thing about assassins. 
point them at a Templar conspiracy, and they ask no questions. All right for the kill. Predictable that way. <laughs> Come, we'll fetch the captain and get started. You finished? Near enough. Now here's the thing. I can go on like this all day. But you, you've got an hour left in you, two at the most. Ah, if I bring out the sharp bits. So why not skip the end game and go directly to me? Tell me where it is, and all this can be over. What was that? Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. Roar! You heard the weasel, boys? Did you really throw him out the window? Trash belongs in the gutter. Sloppy. Someone might have seen. Who? My boys are watching the whole place. They're not steady, good Samaritans. They'd better. The Grandmaster won't be happy. The whole plan comes on round because of one dead peon. Patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grandmaster, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Siver and the Wadetun. Oh, Siver and Loire already served their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Sir brat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Sire will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Clever, Grandmaster. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully, you won't always be so lucky. Quite right. I shall leave the execution of our work to you good, ladies and gentlemen. For my part, I shall retire to the sanctuary and await the final phase. Will that satisfy you, Captain? I'll see the watch triple. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father of Understanding guide us. Was it? Hotel Voisin? Merde. What's going on? 
Where is Monsieur Lafreniere? He's dead. What? Go. So, I'll explain later. Climb up and take a look. How do we get out of here? Two of them up ahead. You take that one. I'll handle his friend. What now? Too many of them to sneak past. We have to work together. I'll take them out quietly. There's a bigger group coming up, though. Did you see a young woman come through here? No. Wait! Snipers! I see them. Perhaps you can get a better angle from the roof. Let's get out of here. They can't have gone far. Find them! Go on. I'll distract them. Trust me. Meet me tomorrow at Café Théâtre. I'll explain everything. You're mad. I'll be there. I may be a little late. 